Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you concerned about the health risks of eating foods fried in oil at high temperatures? In this video, I'll share what is oxidation, high heat and oil oxidation, research studies and cause and effect, reducing fried food health risks, and fried foods, weight gain, and chronic disease. Oxidation is a chemical reaction that takes place when a substance is exposed to oxygen. Apple flesh is highly reactive and browns when exposed to oxygen. The same with peeled potatoes and avocados. Submerging foods in water with a mild acid, like lemon juice, slows the oxidation process. Iron oxidizes when exposed to oxygen, producing iron oxide. Copper oxidizes to produce copper oxide. Aluminum oxidizes, producing a layer of aluminum oxide. Iron oxidation is bad because the metal is consumed, while copper and aluminum oxide provide a protective coating. Cooking fats and oils also oxidize over time. Oxidized fats have a rancid odor. To oxidize fat, it must be exposed to oxygen. Light and heat increase the oxidation rate. Some oils are sold in dark glass bottles to reduce light exposure. Several viewers have vehemently disagreed with the content of my video about high heat cooking and oil oxidation. Some claim omitting credible sources is proof the video endorses eating deadly fried foods, placing the health of millions of people at risk by cell-destroying free radicals. It's the typical fear tactics used to promote fad foods and diets. In reality, there's very little credible information about the health risk associated with high heat cooking and oil oxidation. Following a group of people for years or decades to evaluate the health risk of fried foods is complex and expensive. The same is true about positive and negative health effects of most foods and beverages. There's a difference between an occasional serving of fried foods eaten in moderation and providing the nutrients the body needs, and a regular diet of high-calorie fried foods contributing to weight gain and increased risk of chronic diseases. Almost daily, articles are published about health risks associated with a specific food or nutrient. One viewer's comment listed a half dozen articles defending the negative health effects of oxidized oil. Like most diet-related research, they do not establish cause and effect. Cause and effect would link foods fried in oxidized oils to negative health risks, like reduced life expectancy. Instead, most research is based on animal and lab studies. One source a viewer provided about the health risks of foods fried in oxidized oil is a commentary, not a research study. A potential health risk is not the same as a proven health risk. Phrases like may pose substantial health hazards is not the same as proven to pose substantial health hazards. And may be erroneous is not the same as are erroneous. The commentary is about street vendors reusing oils to fry foods. Not about home cooking where a fatter oil is used once or twice. Home-cooked fried foods is not the same as restaurant and street vendor fried foods. While oxidized oils and fats do produce cell-damaging free radicals, research proving cause and effect is practically non-existent. 
If you're concerned about oxidized oils, there are simple ways to reduce your risk. The simplest is banning all fried foods from your diet, but that's also the most extreme. The risk of oxidized oil increases with the type of oil used and the amount of time it's exposed to air, light, and heat. Unlike home frying, where oils are exposed to air, light, and high heat for an hour or less and used once or twice, restaurants and food vendors can reuse oils for days. You don't know with prepared fried foods if you're eating the first or the hundredth batch. Oxidized oil not only has a rancid odor, it produces undesirable flavors in fried foods. Most restaurants are not going to wait until foods taste bad to change frying oil. For home frying, use oils before their expiration date. Store open bottles in your refrigerator to prevent heat and light exposure. Before using, check if the oil has a neutral or rancid odor. Discard frying oils after one or two uses. This canola oil was used twice. Its amber color is due to fried food particles, not oxidation. A common myth is that foods fried in saturated fats are healthier and safer. While it's true saturated fats oxidize slower than mono and polyunsaturated fats, that does not mean saturated fat is healthier. No cooking oil is 100% polyunsaturated. Polyunsaturated fats include essential omega-3 and 6 fatty acids. Like any high-calorie food, fried food should be eaten in moderation. Fried foods are popular around the world. Many cultures have a variety of fried foods. The reasons are simple. Frying is a very fast cooking method. Fats and oils used to fry foods add flavor. Oil and salt turn bland tasting shredded potatoes into hash brown potatoes and thinly sliced potatoes into potato chips. It's amazing how some people are frightened by oxidized oils and then eat foods high in synthetic chemical additives or apply products to their skin with no concern about health risks. People eating diets high in prepared foods should be concerned about the chemicals and calories in their foods. Like most diets, the problem for most people is not eating one particular type of food, but eating too many unhealthy foods. Diets high in fried foods are associated with a higher risk of heart disease and some cancers. A meta-analysis covering 750,000 people indicates each additional serving of fried foods increased overall heart disease risk by 3%. Reducing the amount of fried foods in your diet may reduce your risk of heart disease. If your health profile looks like this, it's due to more than a diet of fried foods. For potatoes, frying adds high calorie fat, removes water, and concentrates the starch. Four ounces of fried potatoes has almost four times the calories as four ounces of boiled potatoes. Limiting fried foods can cut hundreds of calories from your diet. Weight gain and obesity are linked to many serious chronic diseases, including cancers. Using fear like oxidized oil and organ damaging free radicals to convince people to avoid fried foods is easy. But it ignores numerous other factors associated with living a long, healthy life. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.